Hi friends! Today, we'll explore the tool called a gradient and demonstrate how to use it in BannerBoo. To add a gradient to the banner, go to the Vector Objects menu and choose Gradients. As we can see, there are many different gradient presets here. Let's choose one of them and click on it. Cool! Our gradient has been added to the canvas. Click on it to launch the control panel. Here we can change the type of gradient. We can adjust the angle of inclination. We can incorporate an additional color by clicking at any point on the gradient field. Change it using the palette. We can also change the color balance by dragging the arrow between the colors. To remove a color, press the point you wish to remove and drag it outside the editing panel. Next, we can add a stroke, increasing or decreasing its thickness. Colors of which we can also choose using palettes. Edit the rounding of the corners of our gradient. And control the transparency of the stroke. Also, by double-clicking, we can add text to our gradient. Editing options are the same as for plain text. Leveling occurs relative to the gradient. We can also change the color of the text. We can move our gradient between layers as well as align it relative to the work area. We can make it clickable by adding links, lock, disable, copy, and delete, and also change the transparency of the gradient. We can use a simple linear gradient as a light background for the banner. We can also add more colors and make sharper transitions. This technique can be employed for creating depth or simulating surface as in this banner. The advantage of such a background is that it has a minimal weight, which is often necessary for HTML5 banners. Similarly, for the background, we can utilize a radial gradient to, for example, emphasize an object. Also, with the help of a radial gradient, we can make a vignette. Let's use a bright image as an example. Let's position our image below the gradient. Then, in the gradient, we remove the central color. The second color set black or just dark. You can adjust the strength either by changing the size of the gradient or by changing the balance between colors. By selecting a linear gradient, you can shade any area of the banner in this manner. This can help emphasize your text, for example, on high-resolution images contrast or with many elements. With repeating gradient, you can repeat your gradient by simply moving your extreme point of the gradient. Additionally, we can adjust the tilt angle and expand our gradient. In this way, we will get another light type of background. We can make it more hypnotic by adding a little animation.
cool. We can also utilize our gradient as a background for text. I usually choose solid color for such cases. Resize it to match the size of our text and if needed, round the corners. We can also add strokes, but only if the composition requires it. We can also use the gradient as a button, which is very convenient when you resize your banner. Transform to the desired size and double-click to add text. We edit the text as usual. Vertical alignment of the text concerning the gradient is achieved by adjusting the line height parameter. I typically set it to 2.5, but for taller texts, it's better to use 2. Now, when reducing the height of the gradient, it will not be smaller than this ledge. It is also quick and easy to animate such a button. These are a few options how you can use the gradient in your banners. It all depends on your imagination. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, have a nice day, and see you in the next videos.